how it's been a dark time in the pizza halls of fame. Or the pizza category. <clears throat> um, Papa, we haven't heard from in a while. We tried desperately to get an interview from with him. I want him on the show. He's, he, he just did an interview, which is making waves in media. And this is just some nobody. If he came on this show, we could really talk about pizza slice by slice. You know what I mean? We could take this, we could take this story slice by slice. Mm-hmm. If I did a documentary about Papa John, I'll call it Slice One for Chapter One. Mm-hmm. Very poetic. Thank you. So there is a lot to break down here, but he is... Um, he's coming hard for these people who took his pizza throne. And the first thing I want to point out is that he's so wet. <laughs> he's kind of like... Look at how wet he is, Mike. He's kind of like... Let me see if I can full screen. If a person never... could be a pizza. Right. That's how much of a pizza guy he is. He's like, I have become... I'm like, you know how you're like cis or bi or whatever? He's pizza. That's his orientation. <laughs> They got to add a P. <laughs> LGBTQ P plus. P for Papa John pizza. P plus. <laughs> um, why is he so wet though, for real? He just came fresh out of the oven. He does say in this interview that he's eaten 40 pizzas in the past 30 days. And I think at a certain point, you just start sweating pizza grease. <laughs> when you eat that <laughs> many pizzas. That's what it looks like. But let's go ahead and hear from the Papa God himself. I mean, this is a much anticipated, we've all been waiting. Breaking the silence. Whew. dream the people that I care about, that I love, that I made multimillionaires would do what they did. It was the controversy so that- first, I need to point out that that is not a Papa John uniform. This guy cannot put away the past. He's what wearing is a this? Sh- it's the closest shirt you could possibly find to looking like a Papa John uniform that's not. What is that logo, too? It's not a fashion brand, is it's it? It's just unrelated. It says Jeff Baseball. <laughs> oh, that's that's a, yeah. It's you never heard weird. of Jeff Baseball? <laughs> <laughs> no, he literally just <laughs> found a shirt that looks like the... Red work wear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, this isn't Papa John, this is Jeff Baseball. <laughs> I'll stick the Papa of pizza. Looking back now, do you think that you were set up? Oh, there's no question about it. And, and the public knows that. Um, this Do you think they intentionally had a black dude interview him? Because he got outed for saying the N-word a bunch. Hmm. So they're probably like, let's see what, you know, let's put his, let's put his pizza to the, in the, let's put his feet in the pizza oven. <laughs> Get a black guy to interview him. <laughs> Let me go back because I don't want to miss a word. Set up. Oh, there's no question about it. And, and the public knows that. Um, this is I love that form. the public knows that. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a big uh, story. I love that he thinks that every the whole public is following this pizza story so closely. But he used to be a big shot. He used to do. Uh, he used to be the sole sponsor of the NFL. He used to do commercials with like mega celebrity uh, Peyton Manning. Is that who? I don't know who these football players are. Yeah, Peyton Manning. I, I guess he's so. a big deal. Click of the mouse, <laughs> and Papa's in the house. So. This is John Schneider's side of the story, and it's loaded. Nothing sells loaded, loaded. Something with loaded. olives. <laughs> it's loaded with every topping. <laughs> loaded is a is a pizza reference. You say fully loaded. Truth, and the truth sooner or later all comes out. For the first time, um, Schneider is talking publicly about did. the firestorm you know, that forced him to walk away from the company he built into one of the nation's largest pizza chains. They made this all up. They fabricated it. And shame on them. It all started in May of 2018. Schneider admits he used the N-word during what was supposed to be an internal conference call on diversity training. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He used the N-word on a conference call about diversity <laughs> training because he got in trouble for using the N-word. Because he got in Yeah, because he got in trouble for saying racist stuff. Right, Dan? I mean, I, I think I'm saying that. No, no, no. no. I don't think so. The N-word, it... Wasn't he already in trouble before the N-word thing? No, I don't think so. Hmm. But, I mean, it was diversity training. Yeah. Not a good time to bring up the N-word. <laughs> 
I don't think there's a really a good time to bring up the N-word. <laughs> and take that from me as someone who said the N-word, and uh, it wasn't a good time then either. <laughs> you know? <sighs> Stay away from that one, folks. Do you think Papa John says the N-word when he does rap songs in the shower? And I think he probably listens to country music. He doesn't if listen. If I had to yeah. guess. Do you think Garth says, Brooks? You think he says the N-word in country music? <laughs> no. All racist ass country music? I like that. But says he did it like to convey his hatred of racism. Mm. He says insiders use that as an opportunity to push him out. I just didn't know it would happen from people on the inside doing this. I thought it would come from the outside. And he's willing to name names. Steve Ritchie, Olivia mm. Curley, the board of directors, all used the black community and race as a way to steal the company. And they stole the company and now they've destroyed the company. Steve Ritchie was Schneider's hand-picked replacement. But after years of friendship, the two are now estranged. Olivia Kirtley is a Papa John's board member. Olivia Kirtley and Mark Shapiro should be in jail. Well, It's that bad. What they've done is just wrong. And they've hurt a lot of people. Ritchie resigned as CEO earlier this year. But Schneider is still critical of his former protege's leadership. Everybody knows what that person's making. Everybody knows last year that Steve Ritchie got $6 million, plus $2.8 million to leave and be quiet, and they got zero bonus. They all know that, and sooner or later, they, you know, who wants to play that game? In February... I didn't understand what he was saying. I think what he's saying is that all the lower workers are upset. Yeah. Because they brought in a new CEO, and he gets paid, like, whatever he just said, an eight, six point eight million. It doesn't seem like that much for the CEO of, like, the biggest pizza chain. But the workers, from their perspective, get nothing. So I yeah, think that, that's what he's saying. But though. Papa John was making more than that, and they were making the same amount of money then. I, in one year? I don't know. Papa? He's like a no, billionaire. but for a CEO to get paid in one year, that's a lot. CEOs make a lot of big companies. That's a lot. I guess that is a lot, by golly. My golly. Banker <laughs> Jeff Smith was named chairman of the board, and Schneider says there's not a lot of common ground. The one thing he and I agree on is that Steve Rich is not a CEO. We, that's one thing we do agree on. The new CEO is former Arby's president, Rob Lynch. Ooh, Rob Lynch. Oh, <laughs> they brought in the Arby's CEO? President. Oh, president. So he wasn't even... Nah. Which he calls him out for that, too. It's not even what CEO is, material. Dude, what is going to happen to Arby's without their president? <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen? Man, imagine poaching the dude from the wolf shittiest food on the planet Earth to come work for your pizza place. What, are they going to start putting roast beef on their pizza? Um, he's never been a CEO. He has no pizza experience. He's never been in the pizza category. He doesn't really have a passion for quality. That's a diss to Arby's, I feel like. He doesn't have a passion for quality. He's like, have you had Arby's? I love that he's never been in the pizza category. He hasn't. <laughs> you can't just go from roast beef sandwiches to pizza. You got to be in the pizza category for at least 10 years. But I have to say, in Shatner's uh, Papa John Shaddy's defense, we have gotten Papa John since he was ousted, and it's not as good. I it's swear true. to God. We got it. We it got wasn't it. even slack. It wasn't even cut. The pizza <laughs> sucked. It was like an F tier. When Papa John was in office with Bo in the house, that pizza was an A every time, sometimes SS. Careful with the SS. <laughs> that's controversy. That's, I mean, that's up for John, for Papa John to decide if he's SS or not. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Hitler documentaries on Netflix. Yeah. It's fascinating. I was watching one about these war criminals who are like, there were so many. Uh, should I, is this a tangent? Should I stick yeah, with well, Papa? It's definitely Papa. a tangent. <laughs> but it's Come interesting. on, we got like A plus material here. A Papa original did you interview? Know, just as an aside, quickly. Did you know that, like, of the two million Nazi war criminals who exterminated people, like, only 100 of them ever went to jail? Like, the Germans didn't prosecute anybody. It's interesting. Fascinating, one might even say. It's fascinating. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, Boomer. Okay, Boomer. How dare you say that to me? 
<laughs> and probably most important, he doesn't have a passion for people. All changes, oh. Schneider says. He, send his he hates people. He doesn't have a passion for, for people. By the way, Papa John Shaddy's the one when the health care reform came out, when Obama true. came out. He's like, I refuse to raise my pizza prices by two cents to give my employees <laughs> health care coverage. Yeah. Talk about a passion for people. So, so far, he's called him out on not being CEO material, nope. not caring about quality, quality not Arby's. caring about people, right, and not, not even being in the pizza category. Even being in the pizza category. He's like, when you look at him, what do you see? A dry face. Look at me, what do you see? <laughs> Greasy, wet. I'm soaking wet. That's what pizza category looks like. I just got like. out of the shower, but the last time I showered was a week ago. Explain that. <laughs> you got a sweat pizza grease. Down- that's right. And we're spiral. They've hurt people that wake up every day and make this company great. I mean, it's a miserable place over there. I mean, they're losing all their good people. Is and he wearing cowboy boots? business is good people. Probably. Has anybody specifically yeah. told you that? <laughs> I love how he calls them out. What? They're that. miserable. I've talked to every <laughs> high-level executive that's left. It's like when we say people on the street. Has, has yeah, exactly. And we're talking a half a dozen executives. I mean, they've lost more executives in the last 12 months than I did in 10 years. And after years of touting better ingredients, better pizza, Schneider says it's ultimately the customers who are left with a bad taste in their mouths. Mm. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days, and it's not the same pizza. Okay, let's back that up. (laughs) Papa Johnny Boy here has thrown down. This guy's my hero. 40 pizzas in 30 days. How is that possible? Like, that means that, well, that take a look at him. That means ten <laughs> days of the last month he had pizza twice. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just hate orders Papa John's. You know what I mean? Mm, interesting. I think he's hate ordering Papa John's. He's like, okay, let's see how. Let's order it from this branch and this branch. You think he's and this the branch drivers now that he doesn't work there anymore? Yeah, I don't know what happens to the tip now. The, the tip's not so big anymore. I wonder, if, because he was all proud of the PapaJohn.com, and now it's not even his. Or he tips them big, and he's like, join the movement. Join the movement. I'm going to come back. PapaJohn.net. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was like, dude, you're a billionaire. Just go start another pizza joint. But then I was like, he mm. can't even use his own name. Because they own his name, dude. Do they? Papa John is the name of the company. He should start one in the name of Bo. Bo's in the house? Yeah. I'd buy that. I'd buy the effing loving crap out of that. The same product. It just doesn't taste as good. The way they're making the pizza, the way they're putting the pizza together is just not fundamentally sound to what Mm. makes a Papa John's pizza a Papa John's pizza. It sounds like you're saying that that it's taken a a huge hit since your departure. Would you ever consider or do you want to go back? Right now, I don't want to go back. But this is still your baby. It's got Mm -hmm. your name on it. Mm -hmm. To your point, Stefan, it's... um, it's hard to watch this. Um, I mean, every single thing you can possibly do wrong to mismanage this company, they're doing. Schneider says he still loves the company he built. But I he feel like so he even picked the location because everything is red yeah. around him. Yeah, why would they shoot in this auditorium? Whatever it is. In stock and is no longer the largest individual shareholder. My metaphor is there's no reason to be in the car when the car crashes, even if you love the car. If you were to walk back in... There's no Is the car to... crashing, though? Because I remember when we checked the stock, it was the going up. up. When they hired Shaq. Which, by the way, I think Shaq, I haven't seen him on a Papa John ads in a while. I mean, I haven't ordered Papa John's pizza since he left, quite frankly. Papa John stock price. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Let's look at year to date. Oh, they're, they're, they're doing good, actually. Oh, they're on the rebound, but man, yeah, Papa. I mean, sorry to tell you, John, you you slam that stock. Like, here, this is the stock in the last five years. This they were killing it. This was Papa John City. Uh, then all of a sudden, Shatner starts dropping the N word in diversity training, <laughs> and then like, you know, see you later. And then this is when they hired Shaq. Everyone loves Shaq. Oh, but maybe we don't like Shaq, and the pizza sucks. Mm-hmm. But then suddenly, I don't know what happened. Arby's president came to the picture. Mm. Rob Lynch is the CEO. Actually, it, that the big drop was in 2017, right? Uh, let me see. Where do you see that? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. It, the the N word controversy was in 2018. 
True. So he was actually dropping before that. <laughs> so happened. it's that little but slide. That, so that's why they fired him though, because he was already blowing it. Because he was there was a lot of Papa yeah. John controversy. Right. I refreshed there was myself. Stuff with um the with the NFL. NFL. It was because oh, of he the... said he didn't want people to kneel because yeah. it was affecting pizza sales. What an asshole. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind. Of, that's kind of worse than shut the up. Just shut up, idiot. <laughs> that's when shit starts. Bro, to go you down. want to control what the NFL does because you're a... shut up. Because he was a big sponsor of the NFL, and he felt like their business was suffering because of the oh, association, because there's all the controversy going on. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's when he started to. You know, there's a lot of stocks to buy on the market. I just can't imagine investing in Papa John's to begin with. <laughs> well, they were doing well yeah. up until 2017. It's just, I don't know. You want to be in the pizza game? Me? I'm not in the pizza category. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like owning jewel stock or some shit. It's like it's the pizza category. You're right. Okay, let's get back to this. And as CEO, what do you think the employees would say? If the management team was out, leave it. and I went back in, oh, they'd be they'd be cheering, they'd be yep. doing back flips, they'd be bouncing yep. off the walls. Now was a pop up the people on the street say. Yeah. He says he's committed to giving back. He recently made big donations to Simmons a historically black college, and his alma mater, Jeffersonville High School. This is Jeff High. This is, oh, there you this go. is where I started my They're business in Jeffersonville. This is where That's I went to high school. Where are they? At his, but at his make school. no mistake, John And he made donations to black colleges. And that's what the shirt nice. is, too. It is. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, but you know that it looks like that because he made them change it to look like Papa John jerseys. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he it's bought them all new outfits. Part of the donation well. is that we're going to change everything to red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Papa John has white here, too, right? It's identical. I would just say stay tuned. The day of reckoning will come. Ooh. The record will be straight. Why not set the record straight now? I mean, what is it about the record? Are they that's sitting not really straight? far from each other? <laughs> Stay tuned. The Joker. How soon Ooh. will that happen? Stay tuned. Sooner than later. The day of reckoning is at mm. hand. Maybe he's working on a new brand. He says the mo he says the truth will come out though. So it's some kind of expose. That never that works out. Whenever people say that, they got nothing. Matt Haas said that like five years ago. Yeah. We're all still waiting for the moment of truth. <laughs> just wait. You know what would be epic if Papa John just murdered a bunch of people and that's what he was talking about? They're like, damn, we should have known. <laughs> the day of reckoning is at hand. How would Papa John murder? Check out what Dan said. Domino's stock. Yeah, I was blown away by how valuable Domino's stock is in comparison. Oh, wow, dude. What? $300 per share? Oh, they took a shitter, though. Let's look at the, let's see if there's any correspondence. Oh, Domino's is killing it. Huh. Well. Yeah. Wow, they really, since 2016, that was a good time to buy Domino's. Seriously. Holy shit. <laughs> In three years, their stock value tripled. Domino's is good. I got to tell you, I've been getting Domino's. Huh. They stepped or it up. Or is it Pizza Who? No, Domino's is yeah, good. Do yeah, Domino's. Domino's Domino's Pizza Slut and Little Seizures. <laughs> pizza Slut. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Papa's in the house. He's making threats. Um and uh what can I say? He's I got agree. such meme quality. Like you can't you can't do an interview without shaking the whole world. Dude. It was all over Twitter. <laughs> Dude, he's the best. <laughs> I saw it on Twitter last night. It had ten Thousand views, and when I woke up this morning, is at six million. What? <laughs> yes. I think I think in in Papa John's mind, he thinks that people are just, the public cares about his story, and not the fact that he just looks like a greasy, wet pizza. Does it matter? Not to Papa, just to the, the people are listening. Will come. Why does the Papa John come on the show? I think there was a moment when he. We were able to maybe get him? No, never. When? There was somebody that reached out that said that they could maybe get him on. Yeah, we know. Yeah, people him. say that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wish it well. It, I just want the old P Papa John pizza back because right now it sucks. It really does suck. Pizza Hut has taken a strong lead in the pizza wars, and the day reckoning is at hand. Just firebombs Papa John headquarters, kills 300 people, locks all the doors from the outside. 
We're like, wow, that's what he meant? 